considered too large of a topic, our readers may grow confused, so we should try to narrow it when possible. Okay, besides, one more reason, a narrow topic provides plenty of specific details. So, for instance, a wide topic, Idaho, we could narrow that down to rafting through Idaho on the Snake River. Okay, very good job, everyone. Let me see, what did I do for the remote? Oh, okay, very good. So, I appreciate that you guys have helped me narrow down the topic of food, helped me come up with the topic sentence. You have added details to a paragraph to make it more to make it better and to make it more detailed. Very good. So now, I'd like to give you the opportunity to ask any questions that you might have. If you want to ask a question about me or the six traits or writing, you can ask it now. Um, how many books have you wrote? How many books have I written? Okay, very good. Uh, let's see. Good question. I have, so far, written over 400 short stories. I have published uh, this book, Flying Fingers, and I published this when I was seven. And now, more recently, this book, Dancing Fingers, will be out soon as well. How did you become so good at writing? How did I become so good at writing? Oh, thank you very much for that. Uh, well, I would say it takes a lot of practice. And uh, always, always remember that you can get better. So never really stop and think this is as far as I'll go. Continue on going. Continue practicing to write and also practicing different kinds of writing. So maybe you like stories best and, and um, I love writing stories, but also try poetry. And I discovered that I love poetry too. Uh, discover writing essays. And I know a lot of people think essays, oh, that's so boring. But really, they're fun, really fun essays. Mm -hmm. And um, so really uh, a lot of practice, trying different types of writing, and trying my best whenever I write. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I also read a lot. That helps. Thank you. Thank you. What's your favorite thing to write about? What's my favorite thing to write about? Yes, that is a good question. Let's see. I love writing about many different topics. I especially like writing uh, fantasy stories, but also historical fiction. Uh, one of the things I enjoy writing about are royalty, so I, I, in my stories I usually have like queens and kings and baronesses and barons, you know, it's funny, I actually, when uh, I look through the encyclopedia to find all these formal titles of nobility, so there are some really odd ones like Marcus and Margrave that I found out that are pretty obscure. But yes, so I love writing about the nobility and royalty, uh, I also love writing about um, people who try to make the world a better place. Usually in my stories, they are working for the common good. So yeah, that's generally what my main characters do. What um, inspired you to write? What inspired me to write? Well, it did actually uh, start with reading quite a bit. And this is an interesting story. My parents would always read to us when we were little. Uh, they were, my dad, especially at nighttime before my sister and I went to bed, then he would read out stories to us from a really cool book, and he would at times read stuff that interested him, like, for instance, uh, J.R. Tolkien's books, and sometimes my sister would fall asleep because they were really long, but I, I enjoyed hearing them, and definitely that gave me the love for writing that I had because I listened to these stories and I thought, well, these authors are doing it, they're writing, they appear to be having a fun time, so maybe I can, and I'll get just as much enjoyment too, and I did, so that was how it really started. Have you always wanted to be a writer? Have I always wanted to be a writer? Let's see. Uh, well, I would not say always. I mean, it's kind of hard to decide your ambitions when you're like less than one year old. But uh, for a lot of my life, I wanted to be a writer. When I really started writing, and especially after I published my book, I realized that that was definitely what I was going to become. However, at various points during my life, I also wanted to be an architect, a princess, a ballerina, and, you know, all the all the um, normal ambitions for five, six, and seven-year-olds, but uh, I, I decided that I would like to be a writer, teacher, and journalist. Those are my three career paths for now. I would like to know how you got started teaching other kids about writing. How did you get started doing these types of things? 
That is an excellent question. Well, let's see. It actually started even before I published my book, pretty close to it, when I was seven years old. And then I um, made presentations about writing, and I would visit my local schools and also uh, schools sometimes across the country. And then when I appeared on television shows, the demand increased as well for school visits. So whenever I traveled, basically, to appear on TV or something, then I would go visit schools as well. And then... Um, also, a school in Texas let us know about video conferencing, and that is pretty cool. So now I'm able to reach out to people from across the country and across the world, and the video conferencing company, Tamber, gave us this uh, video conferencing unit, which we use, and um, so that's pretty cool, and that's how I got started, and being able to talk with you. How long did it take you to write a book? How long did it take me to write a book? Let's see, from writing to publication, uh, flying Fingers took half a year, but that does include design, typesetting, editing, all that stuff. So generally, a short story, like one that would go in here, would take one to three weeks. What's your favorite type of book to write? What's my favorite type of book to write? Uh, let's see, I love fantasy and historical fiction. Definitely, those are my two favorite genres, both to write and to read, I would say. However, I do also like to um, sometimes explore in other ones, and poetry is another thing that I do. And I also read, I try to read many different types, like for instance, science fiction, I read that sometimes. I don't write much science fiction, but um, I, I would love to try, so yes, that answers your question. What do you like best about writing? What do I like best about writing? Well, let's see, there are lots of things to like about writing, and some of them are the same with reading a bit. I, it allows me to really reach out to the world to express my feelings, to share my thoughts, to, um, I guess, communicate, I would say. And at the same time, it allows me to have fun because I am able to do what I love, and also, really, since I imagine so many things and they get sort of uh, clogged up in my brain, so it's really cool to be able to put those out in the paper and make my brain, I guess, less clogged. Okay, one more question. Aren't you supposed to be in school right now? Uh, yes, w except uh, technically I am in school right now uh, because I go to an online public charter school called the Washington Virtual Academies, and basically I get to do that from my computer at home at, at any time, so basically you might see me log attendance at some really weird hours, like, I don't know, 9, 18 at night, uh, <laughs> yeah, so that is um, a thing I do, and that allows me to do video conferencing with you guys. Yes, and I, I think that also when I teach you, and both you learn, and also I learn a lot from teaching, so that is where I get a lot of my teaching, uh, le sorry, learning experiences as well, traveling, teaching, and also uh, the normal academic subjects. Okay, does the teacher have any more questions? I had one that I just forgot it, I feel like, it's for kidding. Um, I guess if you had one tip to give them about being a better writer or helping them come up with ideas, what is just one good tip you could give these kids to help them become better writers? Well, I would say, really, when you're writing, don't worry about how it sounds or how it looks to people. First, let your imagination flow. Just think and get all your ideas from everywhere. It could be an idea from when you were really, really little or something that you're just thinking about for your future and write that down. And it doesn't matter if it's kind of embarrassing, like the first time you wet your pants when you were little, something like that, or or it could be a little more serious, of course. Just write it down, and it'll, and I'm sure that once you edit a little bit, it'll be perfect, uh, or a masterpiece anyway. So really, let your imagination flow, and then one more thing uh, I have to add to it, sorry, is that when you get an idea, don't just sort of put it away somewhere. It can help as well, even if it's when you're walking, then ask your mom or dad if you don't have one for a little piece of paper and you can write it down or try to remember it and that way you can maybe create a sort of portfolio of all, all your ideas and that way when you're ever stuck for ideas you can look back on that as well. So that is one piece or two pieces of advice I really have. And also, and this is just a, a general tip, remember to practice. You know, writing is something that you kind of, you 
you